Alright, this video is going to talk about the differences between switches. Uh, this was a requested video, so hopefully uh, this answers your questions. Um, the difference between a 3-prong, 6-prong, and even a 12-prong. Uh, I'm not showing a 12-prong here. Uh, this is a front back side, or excuse me, front back individual wheel. Um, anyway, so basically the best way to explain it is imagine that all of them, no matter whether or not, whether or not it is uh, 3, 6, or 12, imagine that each one of them are really just a three-prong switch. Now, if it's a six-prong, it's just a two three-prong switches put together. Imagine that. All right, so you got a three-prong switch. The middle is power, one side is lift, one side is uh, lower. Okay, now with the switches, the way that they work, when you hit the switch to go up, it's, com it's making the circuit complete to this side. So the power is now sending to this side, okay? Now, when you hit it down, it's sending the power from the center to right here. So when you hit it, just imagine it's doing that, okay? Now, on a three prong versus a six prong, okay. So individual wheel, they only require a three prong switch. So you know because you're lifting uh, one pump and dropping one dump okay now on a six prong switch for example I'll show you this one <clears throat> you've got uh, let's say that this is the uh, believe this is the front so you've got two going to the front um, now this was for a four pump setup so this one might be slightly different than what you're looking at but the principles are the same so you've got your front, which is, this is the front left pump, this is your front right pump, this is your front uh, left dump, front left, or front right dump. All right, so what's the difference? All right, so basically, if you can imagine, if you can see this switch right here, I use this switch for an individual wheel. Yes, it's a six prong, but it's what came with the kit, so I just tried to use it. So each side, has a bank okay you see this bank which is this one this one and this one and then you got this bank which is this one this one and this one which is not used now that's why I say it's like three prong switches put together that's what makes a six prong switch the only difference is when you hit the switch it's actually activating both sides okay same thing for a 12 prong just put them together and when you hit the switch it is activating all 12 or all uh, uh, all six banks now if you can see here your six prong switch the reason why I'm able to use it is because I'm only using this side of the bank now um, if you are only using one side of the bank you can set it up just like this now with uh, six prong switches they are made for um, you know let's just say uh, all front to lift all back side to side those type of switches but how they can be wired up is just like this a front a f uh, front and a front now what or excuse me front left and front right pump now what you can do if you had a two pump uh, four dump for example all you would need to do is connect um, this and say this is your front pump right here and you've got your two dumps on this side all right you got your two dumps on this side so you can actually just connect your front pump to one side it doesn't have to be on both sides on this because remember when you hit the switch for it to go up it's gonna hit this both of these banks to go up when you hit it to go down it's gonna hit both of these banks to go down okay so same thing it's pretty much the same thing no matter what you connect on this side it can uh, it's going to operate what's going to happen there now what you don't want to do is connect anything other than what is intended for that spot so in other words you don't want to connect this uh, you know this one on the same uh, post as this one because now anytime you hit this it's going to activate this okay so don't overlap these the only reason why the inside has been uh, overlapped on these is because this is power okay 
Can you overlap some of these others? Yes, as long as they are the same thing. But you do not want to uh, connect, uh, let's say on a three prong switch, you, you want to activate two different things at the same time. Well, it's not really made for that. So if, uh, if I wanted this purple and this brown to activate at the same time, so I put another switch down here and connected them, well, guess what? You've just then connected these from that point forward. Anytime something has been, uh, uh, something's connected or a switch is hit with these connected, it's going to activate both. So don't do that. Each, each prong is made for one thing, one wire. It is not made for more than one. So just remember, one, one wire per prong. They've got one bank, two bank. Power down the center. If there's no power in the center, then it won't work. So for example, if you connect something on this side and on this side, just because you got power on the, this other side, doesn't mean that it's gonna operate this side. Okay, so you have to have power in the center in order to run whatever it is right here. No power, no work. Hopefully that helps everybody. Um, you know, if you see something that you want to know, just ask about it and I'll do my best to uh, post a video.